All right, everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live. Thank you all for joining us, and thank you to Kyle for that awesome stream. It's always a pleasure to watch you work, sir. Thank you, thank you. Um, my name is Voodoo Val, uh, and I am joined here today by my new friend, Emmy. Emmy, how are you? I am doing awesome, Val. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm super excited to kind of jump into today's design off with you. Um, but before we get into all of the details and stuff, I'd like to give a little bit of information to all of you folks in chat who maybe have never seen one of these um, and kind of let you guys know how this works uh, and how uh, you can get involved. I see a lot of familiar faces in chat. I see Chad, I see Laura, I see Tia, Kevin Lee. It's good to see you, my friend. Uh, Joe, Sam Peterson. Uh, welcome in everyone. Welcome Anna. Um, but yeah, so every week uh, I get to chill here with a lot of super awesome people um, and my guests and I create art or do some cool designing along with a theme. Um, so today's theme that we have planned out for you is uh, basically, I guess, designing a survival pack of sorts uh, if you were that you would want with you if you were stranded on a deserted island um, but this theme is up to interpretation uh, you guys know that I'm an illustrator and painter so I'm gonna be illustrating items and things um, but you can put your own your own twist your own spin on this I know there's folks in chat who are hand letterers who are UI UX designers um, some of you folks who are more graphic artists who create like icons and logos and stuff so you folks can uh, interpret this thing however you like uh, and then towards the end of tomorrow's broadcast the at the end of the last day um, we're gonna pull up all of your designs that you share with us um, so if you create with us please post to Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag Adobe live design off um, before we jump into our art though I'd like to kind of pass things over to you Emmy why don't you uh, tell everybody a little bit about you um, tell us about the kind of work that you do and the things that you love just in case we have some unfamiliar faces uh, in the chat today perfect well everyone is an unfamiliar face to me because this is the first time I've done this so um, I'm very excited to do this first off um, I'm grateful to Val for the opportunity and to Adobe um, this is super exciting for me I've never really done anything like this so I'm excited to draw with you guys and to draw and to see what you guys draw as well um, during this design off in the survival pack we're um, super a little excited bit about... to have you <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're pumped thank you <laughs> thank you thank you um, just a little bit about me so I started good rad funny back in 2018 I've been drawing illustrating my entire life I was one of those people in junior high and high school who was like obsessed with wanting to get good handwriting like other people had, but I just didn't seem to have. <laughs> and so I realized that hand lettering was a thing and that's kind of what got me into where I am now. I started off doing a lot of like wedding invitations, portrait commissions that kind of combined illustration and hand lettering and then started selling stuff in markets. Um, ultimately that led me to want to open up my own shop and I do illustration and graphic design. Um, I started doing graphic design. I got my degree in marketing, so not graphic design. So I'm definitely self-taught, but I was super interested in it um, after having to make a bunch of marketing presentations. And after a whole bunch of Skillshare and YouTube and Adobe tutorials, here I am just trying my best. So I'm super excited to be continuing on that journey and to be sharing my stuff with you today. So that's a little bit about me. That's awesome. I feel like that was like so relatable too because I was also like, that kid in like junior high that had like this artistic thing I wanted to do really bad. I don't think I was yeah. good at it back then though. Like I was just like, I was trying hard, but man, <laughs> whew. Um, I should, I should, one of these days I should pull up some of my strange like anime portraits from like oh. when I was 12. I don't know if anyone would ever talk to me again because, <laughs> but like definitely I feel that feel. Um, also Kevin Lee in the chat says, welcome Emmy to the hashtag Adobe fam. Um, everyone is super excited. Kevin says the amount of time I practiced my hand writing when I was younger to get the perfect aesthetic, so relatable. Yes, I know, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Uh, but I'm Thank gonna pop you. over here. Making me feel better. Yes, <laughs> definitely. You're definitely one of us. I mean, we 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 all we all feel that feel. Um, yes. So yeah, I popped over here to our dual stream again. I've got our theme survival pack for a deserted island up on the stream as well as our hashtag so you folks don't forget it um and i'm i'm just gonna start like chipping away at some drawings um i'm i'm gonna take this in like a really kind of fantastical sci-fi way because <laughs> i really i really just like 
want an excuse to draw a lightsaber and if I could bring anything with me to a deserted island like if someone was like hey you're gonna go to this place we don't know for how long there's nobody there but you you know like fill this bag full of cool stuff and knickknacks that you need to take with you the first thing I would put in there obviously is a lightsaber um, you gotta survive with a lightsaber right yeah start a fire with that you could like trim the underbrush you know, on the island with that. I could chop down trees so and things, you know. Um, it would look cool while I'm going absolutely nuts in the middle of the night and having my <laughs> own, like, light show party on the beach. Just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so what is, uh, what is what is your plan for today, Emmy? So I wanted to take a little bit of a different spin with the whole deserted island theme. Um, I feel like I would be one of those people that if I were stuck on a deserted island... I would want to obviously get off as soon as possible, <laughs> but I feel like not having anything probably to do, I would be getting crafty with the ways to write SOS so that planes flying over or people coming close to the des deserted island could actually see me and my little speck on this deserted island. So I am using some hand lettering skills that I have acquired over the years to draw SOS in a bunch of different ways, um, just a bunch of different hand lettered SOS's, I guess. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just I, be I doing a bunch of SOS's in a lot of different styles. I think this is really cool. Like I was telling you um, kind of before we started the broadcast, guys in chat, folks in chat, don't I always say, by the way, if you're a hand letterer, you can still do this. <laughs> so this is like when, when you said, I think I'm going to hand letter stuff. I was like, yes, we're going to get People hand lettering in the back. On. It's going to be. Yes, exactly. So this is so <laughs> this is such a cool thing, because now I, we, we did have one person submit some really cool hand lettering for one of the first shows. Um, that we did, um, but I don't think that we ever got any more hand lettering after that. So um, for all of you hand letterers in the chat who've been kind of watching these shows, like, hmm, wish I could be included in this. Like, wow, that looks nice. <laughs> yeah, like I have been saying that you are definitely welcome and included, and now you have no choice because now we have somebody on the stream doing hand lettering as an example of what you guys could be doing uh, for this. So you, you, you can be involved now. You can, you know, don't have no fear, jump in. You have no excuse. You know? Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I'm like that is super cool. Slowly chipping away at like some kind of lightsaber hilt shape. I don't know if it's going well or not. I it also like I can't tell if it looks like a lightsaber or if it looks like a weird flashlight or and or like razor. Like it looks kind of like one of the 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 manly razors for beards right now. That's yes. what I'm getting. That's the vibe. Um, I don't know if that's cool or not. Maybe that's like a special feature of my of my lightsaber is that I don't grow <laughs> a beard, but if lightsaber. I did, yeah, if I did grow a beard, it would take care of that for me um, <laughs> on the desert island, so I don't end up looking like Tom Hanks going full castaway. Yeah, that is amazing. What color would your lightsaber be? Purple, absolutely, like hands down. Yes, I've obviously thought about this for a very long time. <laughs> It was very fast. <laughs> it was like quick. Like that was um, a very quick response. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. I've put a lot of thought into it. I thought it would be cool to have a red lightsaber because I think red lightsabers are awesome. But if I'm being honest, if it's my lightsaber, it's it's definitely gonna be purple because purple's like my signature color. It's my favorite thing. Um, yes. What about you? If you had a if you had a lightsaber, like what color would your lightsaber be? I honestly, so my favorite color is yellow. That's and actually so, cool. Watching the last Star Wars movie and seeing that Ray's lightsaber was yellow, I was like, "That, that's it. That right there. That's it. That's got to be mine." So if I can be nerdy for like just a second, not that like as I say that as if like I wasn't planning to be nerdy at all while I'm drawing <laughs> lightsabers, but um, she, Kevin's like she answered that quick. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I so a lot of the like early lightsabers like in the old republic were like all gold and yellow that was like a thing like when you showed up to like the jedi academy and you got your lightsaber it was like a gold That's lightsaber what it was. but until ray got her lightsaber i was like where are they they're so cool looking She's like someone has to have one <laughs> yes and then she was like surprise 
Here it is. Here we go. That um, is so funny. Can you do a logo? I'm not designing a logo. I'm more doing like a um, a, a sketch because I'm going to uh, illustrate and like sort of paint up uh, this lightsaber. Um, but if you are a logo designer, you are more than welcome um, to join in for this design off. Um, you do not have to be an illustrator or a painter or um, a hand letter or any, you don't have to be a specific um, kind of creator for this. You guys can do whatever you love to do and interpret this theme however you see fit. Um, if you're a UI UX designer, you could do like a landing page app for surviving a deserted island. Or you could do like a shop page or something, like a, like a, um, an e-commerce page that has items you could select to put into your survival pack, you know? Like, you really could do, like, a lot of different things for this. Yes. I'm loving English, those chunky English letters, English. by the way. Oh, thank you. I'm really loving them. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Let me see. What else? I want to know what chat would put in their survival pack too um yes chad of course my pack includes a lightsaber honestly when i emailed <laughs> emmy and she mentioned star wars and the things that she likes i was like oh yeah, here we go done and done, done yep yeah. mm -hmm. we we do we just become best friends i think so so it was like I a major stepbrothers moment and i was like ah. <laughs> but i had the moment all by myself so i was confused as to whether it would work out or not but it worked out <laughs> Definitely worked out. Val's the bomb. Yep. Um, Kevin Lee says, don't mind me stranded on the island scrolling through Amazon for that prime delivery. <laughs> Kevin, thank you. I was saying one of the things that I would bring was my iPad, but how that's highly unrealistic because where are you going to charge an iPad? Yep. But, you know, Amazon's, they're everywhere. Why not a deserted island? I feel like that would be genius. It's just one guy with a hang glider that, like, it's, she, he, like I mean, he's, like, running like in from the distance. <laughs> <laughs> he gets closer won't and closer. rescue you. Yeah, he doesn't even stop. Yeah, he won't rescue you. He doesn't stop. He just, like, <laughs> like runs in. Ya. His his feet touch the ground. He runs by you and chucks a package and then, like, takes flight at the other end, the opposite end of the island, and just, like, jets off into the horizon. That's it. He's like, well, sorry about it. I guess I'll tell people you're here, but... Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'll tell I mean, people and you're like, come maybe. on. Maybe. <laughs> if they pay me. My question is, is weren't they, like, don't they use drones to deliver some Amazon packages? Do they really? I think so. I think, I mean, not Prime. anywhere where I live, but I feel like I heard that. Maybe that's just hearsay, but. Then this is, this is absolutely a, a doable thing then. 100%. So. That would be sweet. Yeah. It's gotta happen. That would be sweet. I personally feel like I would love the job of hang gliding to desert islands, but. I, I, I mean. We're friends now, so I'm gonna be honest with you. It sounds like an actual nightmare to me. <laughs> it doesn't it's sound like you can do it. You can do that if you want to. I will wait. I will like patiently I will await let the you. packages. <laughs> but I don't think I would be like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? I'm gonna hang glide to some deserted <laughs> islands and drop packages off to crazy strangers um, <laughs> who are stuck there. Yeah, I, I'm life. not gonna save them. It is but... what it is. <laughs> That is so funny. Have you ever, so are you like scared of heights? Have you ever wanted to skydive or anything like that? Um, I, I'm not necessarily afraid of, of heights. Like I've never been f frightened of being up too high. Um, but I, I am, I can only take so much of that feeling you get when like your stomach drops. Like, so oh, I, I do yeah. enjoy roller like roller coasters and stuff, but sometimes like there comes a time when I'm on a roller coaster where I'm like in middle of the roller coaster. Like there's still half the roller coaster to go and I'm thinking in my head, I'm done. I, like, I'm gonna die. And I can't get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> no one is letting me leave. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, so it, I can only take so much of that. So I imagine that like falling from the sky from a plane to the ground would be like not, like I wouldn't want to be in that position and be halfway through that fall and be like, okay, Turn it off now. Uh, gotta be done. Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> I'm good. None for me, thanks. I'm done. Um, so funny. I'll tell you what I am afraid of. Um, this is maybe a weird, like, 
topic of things I'm afraid of on the internet where anyone can know my greatest and deepest fears. Um, but one thing I don't do is like swim with fish. So being stranded oh. on a deserted island, I assume surrounded by water, yes. Um, <laughs> yes. I would not be swimming to shore. I would not be, I would not pull a Tom Hanks and like try to make a raft and, and, and leave at any point because my rule is I won't swim with a fish that's bigger than my foot. Because if, it, if it's any bigger than my foot, I can't fight it off. I can't. That's, that's in my head. That's how that's that works. true, I guess. Yeah, like I just, <laughs> it's just, that's too big for me to combat in the water because I, I think I'm a good swimmer, but yeah. I'm not a fish. So <laughs> that's as big as the fish can be before I get really uncomfortable. Um, that's, it's like their home territory. Yeah, They've so got you, home court advantage. You'd be, you'd be delivering me a lot of packages so that I could survive. <laughs> Um, oh, I, think I definitely would need like I have a lightsaber in my in my pack now. I think I would definitely need like a thermal blanket or something. Genius. Um, Cause, I mean, I guess I would start a fire, but I don't know that I trust myself completely sleeping with a fire going. Um, burn down the deserted island. <laughs> yeah, they were like, yeah, we 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 went to rescue her. It was gone when we got there. We tried our best. We we really did, but she wasn't there. Nothing was there. In fact, she's swimming with the fish. It was just this guy with a hang glider circulating like circulating the general area, Hello, looking for I her. I have a package to deliver. I got some Oreos and a <laughs> cup of Nutella that someone needed really bad in this area. For some reason, unbeknownst to us, someone really needed this. Yeah, it's a serious deal. It's no joke. That's amazing. I do not play around with Nutella, folks. I do not. I do not play around. Real oh, talk. Nutella is so good. It is. And it's like the kind of good that like, it makes me selfish. Like I have, I have like a big thing of Nutella in my house. I have like. Do not share. Yeah, I have like a lot of people that live in my house and they don't get any. <laughs> they don't, it's like mine a- Mine and mine only. It's a family sized Nutella for the family in my home, but I am the <laughs> I one- I am the family. I'm the family. <laughs> <laughs> this is the family. It is I. Kevin says, I swear if a fish tried to touch me, I will clap back. Um, it's funny, <laughs> uh, you also added the clap emojis, Kevin, because uh, I had to <laughs> physically stop myself from clapping into my microphone just now. Like, I was just gonna- clap clap but i was like that would probably be really annoying for anyone watching sam says they don't let val at the beach anymore because she ends up punching all the small fish yeah that's that's yep yep only bigger than her foot though yep only only the ones bigger than my foot all the tiny cute all the rest of the fishies are fine. are fine yeah they're all okay it's just the ones that are like i feel like foot size too like if i'm being honest is a normal fish size Kinda, well, you know. anything bigger than that, it's like, is this a, you like move up in the food chain. So it's like, is this a fish that eats other fish? Is this like a baby shark? Mm -hmm. What it, is It can this bite thing? you. It can bite you and, it, and hurt it you. It can indeed bite you. it's bigger than your foot. And I'm like, I'm not about that life. I'm not I'm, about that fish I'm fighting life. Unless I have not to Not about be. that either. Yep. I think that's, that's a good way to live. Laura says, same here with Nutella. <laughs> yes, Laura. <laughs> Which is great because that means we're alike, but it also means that like we can't be in the same vicinity with Nutella ever. Yes. So that if we is ever very hang true. out, you can't you can't bring Nutella. Um, what like... else should I put in here? I've got I've got a pair of headphones in early sketch phase that just look like earmuffs. Um, so we're gonna have to work on those. I've got a pretty okay looking lightsaber, and I've got a strange stack of cloth that will eventually be um, a blanket with moons and stars on it because that would be cool that would be really cool so that's what i'm doing i love the whole moons and stars theme when me too we were um you know how like all first moms are like oh my gosh my kids nursery what am i gonna do for the nursery yeah yeah <laughs> i of course was also panicked about that when we had my son about a year ago and i like love the whole constellation moon stars theme so his first the first time we decorated it was all constellation themed moon themed celestial themed and it turned out really good i liked it nice yeah 
it's one of those things that it's like, why did I spend so much time worrying about that when I should have just prepared to be a mother instead? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think that's like the things that you, that you start panicking about, you know, as, oh, yeah. as, as the date gets closer and you're just kind of like, oh yeah, there's going to be like a lot of this stuff that I'm maybe going to yeah. have to think about. And then you don't realize that you're, it's not that it's like super extra important. You're just panicking. You're oh just, yeah. <laughs> Like now, I'm just making up problems. So yeah. this is invented in my head. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. All right, I'm trying to design what I think would be cool, and this is like this is purely fictional. Okay, I'm trying to design like a interesting pyramid shaped thing that I'm gonna call a terraformer. Okay. Um, because, Sounds sweet. Yeah. If I get there and I'm like, I want like. I, I feel like I want to be on a deserted island and play that island like, uh, what's that game that everybody's talking about that makes me feel unhip and old? Uh, Animal Crossing. That one. <laughs> I was going to say Fortnite, but I feel like that's two years old. So. <laughs> yeah. Not, none for me, thanks. Um, <laughs> no, but um, I'm, I was like thinking of... Like, you know, everybody gets to design their island in Animal Crossing. Why not do that in real life? So I'm, I'm bringing a terraformer with me, I think, um, to to the deserted island. So if I want more trees or if I'd like to add uh, something lovely, some more flowers or something, I think I'm going to. And no one can awesome. tell me that's cheating. I feel like you can make up your own stuff. I'm not going to catch you on it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I knew we you. would be good friends. This is this is what you, friendship means. <laughs> this, this indeed is what friendship means. I am not going to stop you from being way too nerdy about this project that we're doing. It's just be as weird as you want. That's what I love to hear. Good. It is not my job to police you. That is for sure. Thank you. Um, Laura says I'm never hiding the Nutella, but everyone leaves it to me. I'm trying to quit though. <laughs> Laura. I'm trying to quit made me laugh out loud. I love that. Joe Dorgu is naming all of the most terrifying fish ever that are smaller than one's foot. Um, and I am strategically not reading them out loud because it's breaking my whole illusion that I'm safe if they're not larger than my feet. Um, it's, it's, it's breaking my heart now because I don't... Wait. Did you say dangerous fish that are smaller than your feet? Yeah, yeah. Come so, on, man. Yeah, what? <laughs> Come on, dude. I I really thought that I would be safe and fine um, as long as they weren't bigger than my foot, but apparently I was mistaken. Here we are. Apparently I'm 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 nuts about that, and that's not how things actually work. All right, I think I've got a pretty good like little pyramid thing here and I'm gonna do like some lines on it because I'm gonna add some little baubles and whatnot to it. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of put this, I'm making like shapes of things, like sketchy shapes of things and then I'm just placing them around and then I'll come back to them if I feel like I like the way that they look. Um, Genius. Yeah. Uh, I think I also... I think I also would need a deck of cards. You gotta entertain yourself somehow. Yeah, I would need a deck of cards, and I also feel like I would need some kind of inanimate friend. <laughs> you know, like, like a all Wilson. Disney main characters that have like the chameleon or like this, yeah, the side sidekick. I love the colors that you are adding to this SOS. By the way, it is like oh, thank you, so cool. Are you leaving it like different shades that are like kind of like broken up in areas like that? Because that looks so cool. Oh, thank you. So. Um, in Fresco, I have just locked the transparency so that it's only coloring on this. Mm -hmm. And then, um, just within each, like, stroke that I would be making if this were, like, an actual pen and paper piece, just changing the color so that it goes between... I'm trying to do all four, but I couldn't remember which one I hadn't done, but then I found it. So, 
doing the four different colors. I'm trying to stay within, <laughs> I have this problem where I want to use a lot of colors all the time because I love color. That's kind of like, if you look on my Instagram feed, everything is super colorful. So I'm trying to restrict myself to just a restricted warm color palette. So I have four colors that, plus I guess the background, so five, I guess, but a restricted color palette that I'm using for this piece so mm -hmm. that it can look a little bit more cohesive with all of the different styles going on. Nice, nice. Um, I think it Thank definitely, you. you definitely are succeeding because they're all like very different, but it definitely gives me a very like specific vibe, even though I'm looking at things that are a little different um, and it feels awesome. warm and inviting. It's very nice. Oh, good. Thank you, Val. Kevin says, I would say to play the Rihanna song SOS, please someone help me while Emily is handwriting, but copyright infringement. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> oh, music. We would need music. I was going to say, if you don't have music, it's not worth being stranded. Yeah, I don't know how I would survive without. Okay. All right. Music is going to be a thing. Let me um, add some more little cards to this. And then I guess I did make like headphones, but um, I don't know. I was putting headphones because I always have my headphones with me, not necessarily because I was thinking like music specifically. So I'm going to put some indicators of specific music, I think. Now opens the question, what kind of music would you be bringing to this deserted island? I think that when it comes to being deserted on an island, because I'm, I'm obviously some kind of expert on the subject. Um, we are doing a broadcast. We are doing broadcast about it, so we could be. Nobody knows. Um, I think that you should bring music with you if you have the ability to prepare ahead of time. Um, bring music with you that will help you through emotional struggle. Because, you're probably going to have a lot of those. Yeah, you're, you're definitely, I think, going to run into some serious, like, emotional turmoil being stranded mm -hmm. on a desert island, you know? Um, so totally. I feel like I would want some, first of all, I want some, like, tranquil music to listen to while I'm trying to sleep. Um, and I would Genius. also probably bring some metal with me for when I'm, like, raging at the universe um, <laughs> on the island all by myself. Um, Amazing. And then I'd also have to bring, like, some Frank Sinatra for when I finally lose my mind and start dancing with, like, a stick or something around <laughs> on the island and just start, you know, doing the waltz around on the beach. Um, Love it. There's a lot of different things that one uh, would need music for, I think, on the island. Um, what do you guys think? Um... Tiana says, I imagine your sidekick being the spider from the Little Critter Kids books. I, I don't think I've ever seen those. <laughs> Will Donahue says, Sporky. I So I haven't seen that. Uh, I think you're talking about Sporky from, like, um, Toy Story. I haven't seen it yet, but he terrifies me. He scares me. I don't know. <laughs> I just, like, laugh out loud at that because I've only seen that Toy Story once. But the guy who plays it is in Arrested Development, which... A lot of my um, work is like centered around pop culture stuff too. Uh, and Arrested Development is a very funny show. And wait, so I who just is hear he? Who's he's the... Buster. Oh he is my... Buster. Okay. All right. Maybe I will like it then. Yeah. Maybe no, I, I like die laughing every time he speaks in Toy Story because I'm just picturing Buster but seeing a sport. So. <laughs> That's great. All right. All right. Perfect. I'll take it all back. I'll take it all back, honestly. <laughs> I think for me, so I love music. I love all sorts of music. And so that's probably part of my uh, desire to bring my iPad, whether I could or couldn't, because you got to have some way to play it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I agree with all the moods that you were saying. I think those are all quite genius. Um, I personally love a little Coldplay. Nice. I am very into pop punk. I feel like an angsty teen all the time. <laughs> so that would be a good one that I probably couldn't live without. Just any pop punk. Um, you would need some good 
emotional music. So I Definitely. feel like that would be that'd be a good one for that. But other than that, I'm trying to think of ones that I would need. So so give me an example of pop punk. We're talking like my favorite band is Mayday Parade. Oh, so, like okay. the stuff okay. that you listen to when you're feeling like super emo in the eighth grade. That's but my then my you grow up and you still love it. Eighth grade band was My Chemical Romance. Yes. That was like I think I listened to the ghost of you like a million times, like while forlornly staring out a rainy window thinking about the boy I like. In the music video. And I'm, yeah, I was just <laughs> just looking and i had like my 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 weird like cheapy walkman headphones on yes just, it was like it was like just like a really like sad angsty teen version of that uh gif of i think it's um is it kermit no what's who's who's beyonce's husband um, jay-z jay-z yeah that one where he's just bobbing his head and listening to some <laughs> music intently it was me but like just like a lot more sad with like black nail polish and I went through a phase where I like I, I cut my hair and I straightened it and I dyed it black and I had like bangs yes. in the front and like the spikes in the back yes I, was, oof. I I thought I looked awesome oh my gosh that's amazing I did not I, did. <laughs> I was actually just talking about this with some friends of mine because we got on a conversation and ended up looking at old yearbooks and that like 2007 to 2009 super straight hair with like a part right here that's mm -hmm. like all the way combed Everywhere. over. Everywhere, yes. Man, Just, those ooh. were the times. Those were some really interesting days. Um, those were <laughs> rough. <laughs> we the, very rough. We thought we looked cool though, didn't we? Thought we looked awesome. Unfortunately, then you look back and it's like, man. I remember my fingerless gloves from Hot Topics. I remember those. <laughs> I remember what topic, man. One of the weird pants I got with like strange like cross chains on the pants that my parents could stand. I thought they were the coolest pair of clothing I'd ever <laughs> owned in my life. Um, also, and will ever own. Will is asking what tools are you using? I'm using Photoshop uh, CS20 um, and CS20. I'm using Photoshop 2020. That's what I'm using, <laughs> not CS20. Um, and then you are using Fresco, correct? I am using Adobe Fresco. I've got the iPad, um, not the iPad Pro, but the newest generation of iPad. I got it back in about 2018 that is compatible with just the regular Apple Pencil. So, and I've been, it's like my trusty sidekick. I feel like I've run this thing to the ground over the past two, two and a half years. So well loved. It is well That's loved. Good. It's done a lot for me. So it hasn't given up yet. All right. I like the headphones I drew now. I'm satisfied with them. I think all the talk about all the days when I used to use these things, um, like all the time, I think it brought it brought some good reference to mind. So I've done That's like a, a pretty pretty eye pair of headphones. Um, I don't. I'm gonna hide my cards for now because I. So when I um, create. Uh, and I draw something that I'm not satisfied with, sometimes I actually have to remove it from view, otherwise it influences all of my other stuff in my art to, like, not be good. Yeah. Has that ever, that. Does that ever happen to you? Yeah, I, like, you'll find me working with a ton of layers that if I, like, have an idea for something, I'll, like, draw it out, but if I don't like it, then I'll just hide it and do a different version of it. And then whatever version I end up going with in the end... The rest will just get deleted at the end. So yeah, I kind of have to pick and choose and organize things in a cool way. Otherwise, <laughs> if I'm looking at it, and I'm like, "Wow, this is awful." Then ever I only look at that while I'm drawing the new stuff, and then I'm like, "Everything is bad." Everything. <laughs> Seriously. Um, does anyone else remember the skater brands like Fox or DC shoes? Literally my whole wardrobe back in the day. Like the, like the <laughs> skater shoes that had like the giant shoe tongue. Yes. Like the huge, like, yes. Yep. Yep. I, I remember, remember when I was probably, I'd say like 10 or 11. I like saved up all my money because all I wanted were Heelys and I saw that they were on sale at like this local sports store Nice. and I went to go get them and the sale was actually for just like regular skate shoes that had like the big tongue and so I was disappointed but I feel like I remember ending up getting them anyway. You did get them. 
That's awesome. I feel okay. like I did, but that could be a reconstructed memory, but <laughs> who knows? A I reconstructed like was... memory. It's... That was many, many years ago, so. Um, I, I remember one time I was so adamant. I don't know. I was like, I don't know why anyone allowed me to try and be as edgy as I was trying to be in middle school. Maybe they just loved me and they were like, she'll learn. Um, she'll get there. She'll she'll figure it out. Um, but I I remember I saved up all of my money when I was like about the same age, like eleven or twelve. Um, and I went to there was a place in Northern California that was open for a while. I don't know if it's everywhere or if it was just like that general area or what, but it's called the Fashion Bug. Um, and it was like I'd seen a few of them around NorCal, but like nowhere else. So maybe it was just a NorCal thing. But uh. Okay. They had, I saved up, like, $35 so that I could buy a black fedora with hot pink pinstripes, and I thought it was <laughs> the coolest thing in the world. So funny. Yes. Oh, I love it. I thought it was so neat, and I wore it, I wore it with my black and gray striped fingerless glove just on my left hand. Like, only on the left. Going full Michael Jackson on Yeah, that. and I would just, I would, like, walk around. And I was that weird kid. I was, I was weird. I was, like, the weird anime drawing kid. And uh, <laughs> it's funny. It cracks me up, though, because I, I actually dug up some of the stuff um, that I used to draw around that time recently. Um, and I found, like, some stuff where this just goes to show, like, where you can actually get to, regardless of what other people say or what you yourself think about your own art. Okay? okay. I found some stuff where my art friends and I had drawn things and then written um, like critiques on huh. the work. And I'm pretty sure when I was 12, nobody I knew in the whole world thought I drew well and that I was going to like be an artist. And I think they were being nice to me at the time. Surprise. <laughs> Here I am. Surprise. It's my job. <laughs> it's my job now. Um, but uh, I remember, yeah, I remember, like, getting those critiques and being like, oh man, nobody likes my drawings. Like, boo! But I still draw. I just never stopped. I think, I don't know, you're still weird, Voodoo Val. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I am Voodoo Val. I can't. It Kevin's like, yes, he leaves. Thank you, Kevin. I feel like Kevin is here to validate me. Kevin, I have to say, Kevin is like one of my favorite humans. Um, yes, and I love it. You should, you should definitely be familiar with Kevin because he makes me like feel so warm and accepted whenever he's here. Um, yes. And it's really cool. Um, Juan Nino, welcome in. It's good to see you, Juan. Um, Fashion Bug was in New York State as well, Val. Okay, perfect. Um, did you have any like middle school like clothing trends that you just like want to forget about for forever oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh those i feel like my uniform like i went to a middle school where you didn't obviously have to wear a uniform but i feel like what i wore every day were air apostle i don't know how you, you actually say that i feel like i say that wrong but air apostle polo shirts oh man and the plaid shorts. I don't know if that was a thing everywhere or if that was just Utah, but that's one of those things that I look back on pictures and I'm like, that was the ugliest thing <laughs> in the entire world. <laughs> I think it's probably harder to look at those pictures now considering that like we do design for a living, you know? Oh, like yeah. we, we specialize in things that look pretty good. And then uh -huh. I look back on pictures of myself and realize that I didn't look very good. And I'm like, why? Like, oh, that was a rough time. And then I, I think rough. I actually legitimately, like, when I when I, I uh, went through all those old pictures, I was like, Mom, why didn't you stop me? And she was like, it was so funny. I just couldn't. <laughs> I was like, thanks. See, my mom, she if she is watching this, she's probably laughing because my mom very many times tried to stop me. <laughs> oh, she did. She was and... like, no. Don't Just do that. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And then I did, and now we laugh. So and it is what it is. Now we're here, hopefully, and dressing fun of better and tentatively on the internet. <laughs> oh, so true. All so right. so true. I have my thing that will eventually turn into like a terraform pyramid. I've got my lightsaber. I've got my music. I I could also use like some kind of like um 
cup or something like a like a multi-use cup because i That's feel like i would genius. need like a good like a good like whenever i go camping i always bring like a um i have like a like a metal stein yeah because it's like durable and i can like scoop things you know um totally so i would probably bring like a cup with me however since we're being wild and crazy i don't know if i want to go with like a stein or if i just like straight up bring like a like a goblet (laughs) go big or go home man if you're gonna be the only one there no one's gonna judge you for having a goblet so but on the other hand like the only reason for having a goblet would be so that everyone could be like whoa a goblet a goblet yeah exactly but i mean it probably looks really good to the amazon delivery hang glider so oh yeah like he would be like hey that's a cool goblet that's nice and every time he Amazon. asked me, as he cruises through the general area, I'd always pretend to be like, what? So that he can't buy the same one I have and show me up. I'd be like, what? What? What's that? He'd be like, where'd you get your goblet? And I'd be like, I- I'm sorry, I can't. You're on the hang glider. On You're Amazon. Very fast. On Amazon. <laughs> Super meta. Yeah. All right, goblet. This has got to be like a really... Like a really cool goblet too. This is, this can't be like a no half measures for this goblet. No, we're going big and going home. Yep. If we can, I mean, we are stranded, but we're going big and hoping, wishing. We <laughs> going could go big home. and trying to go home. Trying very hard. Bear with me while I sketch it out. We'll see how this goes. I kind of want to do like. Um, you know, I know I know Sam Peterson's gonna gonna know what I'm talking about, like the the chunky like Warcraft kind of designs for props. You know how like they have like like thick edges and um, like kind of like I guess chips in things and and all kinds of stuff like that, like making it look super. Um, I'm trying really hard not to say make it super goblety because that makes no sense. <laughs> it's like, but that's what my brain wants to say. It's just like make it make this like a really goblety make it goblet. It's so goblety. <laughs> it's so goblety. Um, I like even kept like stuttering and trying to like improvise for another word, but that's all that came up in my head. I feel like goblety is an accepted. Uh, it's an accepted alternative. All right, if you say so. I'm only going to take your word for it because I think when the delay catches up and chat hears what I said, they're going to be like, that's weird that you said that. So I'm only going to go based on your opinion of me at this moment. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love it. Uh, Isaac is watching from Ghana. Wow. Welcome in. That's sweet. That's Mm. awesome. That is way cool. That's super cool. I have never been to Ghana. I have been (laughs) to many places in the north of California. That's it. <laughs> that is it. I've been to like the border of Nevada and looked over. I'm like, oh, so that's what it's like over there. I'm going home. Um, <laughs> that's nice. I'm like, Ooh, hot. Very hot. Very, Too hot. Very for hot me. indeed. Goodbye. Yeah, it's, we have temperatures where I am anywhere between 104 and 106 all week. Yeah, we had 111 so. last week and I was like, ooh. <laughs> That's stay inside weather. Yeah. I went outside for like a very short moment. Became frightened. You're like, this is nice. Yeah, I was like, I'm going in. My dogs were like, let us out too. And I was like, no, 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 no. Nope. I finally just left them outside so they could see. They went outside and were like, yeah, I'm not about this life, fam. They turned around and they (laughs) looked at me. Too hot, man. Yeah. They looked at me like I did it to them. I was like, I. Like, this is not my fault. It is so hot outside. I very specifically was like, no dogs. Not my fault. Yep, I take no responsibility for that. All right, I'm gonna do like a cool little base for this goblet that's gonna have like a little like orb on it, on the stem, and then I'm just gonna bring it down. I'm talking about this goblet like I'm painting happy trees. <laughs> just a little stem, just a cool little stem, and it's gonna a happy tree. widen out into Love like Bob a nice Ross. base. Bob Ross is a lifesaver. I used to watch Bob okay. Ross as a kid all the time. I love Bob Ross. 
Um, I know if there's, I, I know specifically there are some the some Twitch TV fam in the chat right now, and that's like a big thing on Twitch. Um, yes. Because they had like all his shows and everything. Um, that's genius. Yeah, they like, put what are it you on watching creative. Now? I know there's some on Netflix, but. Yeah, they had a. I don't know if they're still doing it. I haven't been on Twitch in a while, but I know for a really long time they had every single Bob Ross episode known to man that was like playing in a constant stream all the time on the Bob Ross channel. That um, was and it was amazing. really cool. Blast from the past, for real. Um, I am going to stop trying to draw this goblet from the side, and I'm gonna duplicate it and just make sure that I'm making it slightly symmetrical. There we go. And then I'm going to turn it. There we go. That's a that's a pretty fancy goblet. I think I may add like some some like jewels or something onto it um, at some awesome. point. But I think that's good for now. Also, quick reminder to folks who are in the chat who are like, what's going on on the stream today? Um, we are doing a design <laughs> off themed around uh, kind of designing a survival pack for a deserted island. Um, but you can interpret this theme however you like. I'm like, like literally um, illustrating things that I would like to have with me if I was stranded on a deserted island. Um, Emmy is doing some really awesome hand lettering for all of the SOS signs she'd be forming with rocks and leaves and whatnot from the <laughs> islands to try and get rescued. Um, and all of you folks in the chat are um, welcome to participate with us. Um, uh, if you use the hashtag that I have up here on the, the screen, um, hashtag Adobe Life Design Off, um, you can create, you can do hand lettering, you can do illustrating, painting, um, UI, UX design, whatever it is that you want to do, icon design, graphic design, logo design, um, according to our theme, interpret it however you like and send it to us, like I said, on Twitter or Instagram um, towards the end of tomorrow's stream, because we're going to be back tomorrow doing this very same thing. Um, we are going to take a look at social media and give you guys kind of a shout out, um, a little spotlight for the chat. Um, you guys don't have to finish um, anything 100%, by the way. You, it's not necessary for you to come up with a perfect masterpiece of, of art. Uh, we just kind of want to see what you were sketching on um, while you were uh, creating with us, you know? Um, I love to see what's going on in everybody's head and how everybody actually interprets these themes. Um, so just even if you're just sketching around, um, even if you're, I, we've had a few people who weren't able to do the theme because they had work to do for a job, but they still posted what they were working on along with us, um, on the stream, which was cool. That is um, sweet. so please share with us. Um, I would love to see what you folks got going on. Um, and, uh, we'll take a look at those tomorrow. Watching two artists in action. Yes, indeed. Welcome in, Fasal. Welcome, welcome. Um, we are kind of, I don't know. I mean, our design off is, it's, it's like a, you know, like a design off, but I feel like all of these end up being less of like a battle of artists and more of like a, oh my gosh, did we just become best friends? <laughs> Every time. I feel like that's the way to be, though. Yes. So it's it's definitely, like, the friendliest art battle of all time. Um, and uh, I love it. I have a good time. Um, and that's, yeah, that's what we do. I do this um, every week uh, from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, on Wednesdays and Thursdays. All right. I'm going to stop messing with this goblet because if I don't, I will ruin it. So I'm just gonna do like small little lines. That's it, that's all I can do. And then I need to step away. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I definitely do if I like, especially if I start talking about something um, and I go on autopilot, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. Sometimes I go on autopilot, I'm just like, what have I done? <laughs> Like, this is not, I can't recover. I this can't is recover bad. What if, what did I do? Um, all right, I'm going to leave that goblet like that. Um, and then maybe I will return to it tomorrow and continue painting it in. And maybe I won't. I'm kind of setting up for what I'm going to finalize and paint. Um, 
but I'm not sure. Um, but I totally. like it, so I'm leaving it. Um, I definitely like my lightsaber. Uh, I definitely like my headphones. I definitely like my weird little pyramid thing. Um, I don't need a flashlight because lightsaber, you know. It is a flashlight. It is totally a flashlight. The best kind of flashlight. It's going to be awesome to be on a deserted island with that thing. I don't know. I mean, I assume that there's, like, creatures on the island with me. That's okay. what I imagined. You know? Like, so it's, it's I'm just the only human. Aside from hang your guy yeah. from Amazon. <laughs> Aside from that one rando. Yeah, that one guy that knows where I am and is, like, too rude to report it to the police. <laughs> um, he just does not care about my survival. Like, not about this. But he does bring really great care packages. Um, okay. Uh, music. Goblet to stun on all of the weird bugs. Um, so they think I'm cool. Uh, my terraforming pyramid. My lightsaber. Um... I imagine I will get food there. Yeah. I you feel know. like whether you're eating the plants on the island or whether you do find stuff that you can actually, like, kill to eat, whether yeah. they are. That's what I'm thinking, Fiction too. or not. <laughs> um, also, we have just a couple of minutes here before it's time to go. I can't believe it's already been an hour. Wow. That's Holy like... Cow. Yeah. I feel like that went so fast, but... You know, time flies when you're having fun with your friends. <laughs> so true. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound as corny as it did. Like, I was, that was genuine. I've... But I was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we do have to go in a few minutes. So why don't you um, kind of zoom out, maybe, um, Emmy, and show us what you worked on. Um, and then I'll do the same thing for mine. And we can kind of uh, give a little, a little overview. And then uh, you can tell us where to find you online if we want to follow you after the stream. Perfect. So I ended up getting how many? I have one, two, three, four, five and a half SOSs left. What I probably am going to do is I'm planning for tomorrow's stream to pivot and do something a little bit different. So I will try to finish this one and post it on my Instagram. You can find me at goodradfunny on Instagram if you guys want to follow along and see the rest of the SOSs in the same color palette. So nice. I've done just a bunch of different serif, sans serif, and there should be some other variations coming up as well. So follow along if you want to see the finished piece. Awesome. Um, and then I did, I've got my, my lightsaber hilt. I've got, I, I just kind of made like the blade of the lightsaber like going off the canvas that I kind of like set up for myself. Um, I've got my, I'm going to, I think to what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to stick with um, everything that I worked on today. Um, okay. And I'm going to uh, detail everything. Like I'm going to, I'm going to add um, some color and some texture and stuff. Um, so I, what I might do because I like these four items is I might just make like this, um, uh, weird, I don't know, um, terraforming pyramid, um, okay. larger so I can add more detail on it and then just kind of go with this stuff and then make it into like a little poster with like snarky comments on it, like terraforming Perfect. pyramid, because I don't feel like... <laughs> living on uh, some kind of island that's like uncomfortable for me so I'm just gonna change it to <laughs> how I see fit um, really breaking the rules here I'm gonna put something like you know got a stun on the strange bugs with my awesome goblet so can't leave uh, to the deserted island without that things like that just kind of make it a little bit funny um, but it. yeah that is what I created I might add a few little things I, I was thinking about adding like a few band-aids like genius you gotta have some first aid four band-aids and like a tube of neosporin with me and that's it um because that's one thing that i would probably do um and yeah so that's what i created um that's all the time we have though for today folks thank you so much for joining us we will be back at 3 p.m pacific time tomorrow for another episode of the stranded on a desert island um, episode <laughs> of the design off um, and we will see you tomorrow adios everyone mm -hmm.